Hello, welcome to part three in this simple object oriented example of Frogger using SFML. And this is actually part two of making it object oriented because in the first part, we created a simple Frogger example in one file, which was the main .cpp file. Then in the previous video, we abstracted the frog and the truck functionality into their own classes. And now what we're gonna do is abstract out literally everything from here like the render window, managing of our frog and truck, the, the window is open, basically the game loop, all of this into a game class. So let's just create a game class. Remember, doesn't matter what IDE you're on, long as you know how to use it, you should be all good to create classes. So I'm gonna call this game and in here, it's gonna get rid of everything, but hash pragma once. And do hash include sfml for slash graphics.hpp. And now what we're gonna do is hash include frog.hpp. Then do hash include truck.hpp. And the reason we're doing this, or these two, is because remember, we're gonna be managing the frog and truck objects in our game class. So in here, we need them right here. I'm gonna create a class called game, and I'm gonna put public. I'm gonna have a constructor, which is just empty. I'm gonna have a void loop. And this is the method that will actually be called from our main file. This will be, well, the main loop of our application. We're gonna have a private SF render window, and this is gonna be asterisk window. So we're gonna, it's gonna be a pointer, because if we use something that's not a pointer to be able to construct it afterwards, well, we need a pointer, because otherwise it will use a default constructor, which window has, but stuff like frog and truck don't have, but for the window, we want to construct it afterwards. So hence why we're using a pointer. So frog, asterisk frog. This is gonna be truck, asterisk truck, like so. So now that we've got that done in the CPP file, let's just copy and paste this. So go to the CPP file, get rid of all of these comments, and now put some curly braces, and now, we need the game colon colon because remember the constructor called game is part of the game class and the loop method is part of the game class as well. In here, we're gonna have everything that was outside of our game loop. So in here, we just need to cut this into our CPP file. The only difference is we're not creating a new render window, we're just constructing it. So we're doing window equals new sf render window so the reason we're using the keyword new is because we're using a pointer so we're allocating memory using this keyword and we're creating a new sf render window which should be assigned to window which is a render window and remember with pointers the pointer merely points to an area in memory which holds the data so when it says SF render window asterisk window. The window isn't this window thing here, this variable, isn't actually a render window. This is just pointing to some area in memory which is a render window. And the same principle applies for the frog and the truck. And we need to do the exact same here. See if you can figure it out by yourself. Just pause the video and just try and do it again. Same principle as this. Okay, I'm guessing you've had a go, and if you haven't, all you gotta do is get rid of the frog at start, equals to new frog. And again, if you didn't do, okay, okay, this is moaning because we're doing window.getSize to access methods and variables of a pointer, you do dash greater than, that's the difference between a pointer, or one of the differences. Again, pause it and just try and make this into something like the window and frog. So I'm guessing you paused it, you had a go, hopefully you have. So get rid of the truck data type, 
make it a new truck like so and remember we just need to get rid of that and now in our game loop we are going to whack everything that is inside of our while loop including the while loop itself so if we cut this go to here paste it okay let's go through these errors these errors are very simple we just need to do dash greater than instead of dot because they are pointers same with the frog and same with the truck same with the window again you might be thinking why are we doing this this is just more effort and it seems like more effort because we initially created it in the main then we abstracted it out and then we abstracted it out some more and then we had to make modifications but once you get your head around this sort of structure of using classes and having stuff in separate files and grouping stuff you'll just be creating it from the start like this so you won't actually go through all of this pain and hassle you will just automatically create classes if let's say you're creating a frog or some sort of log and you'll just progress that way so it's just hassle while you're learning but after that you will just do it as you go along and this is still moaning because the frog or the truck for example so so the frog draw method takes a reference to a window object not a pointer takes a reference to an actual render window so what you can do is dereference it dereference it by putting an asterisk in front of it so what this does is instead of because at the moment window just is a pointer aka a memory location if you put asterisks this now refers to a render window at the location of window so that's what this does so this is at the actual window hence why we can pass in a reference to it now do the same here what you could do instead is actually do it like so so you could actually do sf render window instead of doing window you could just do asterisks here i'm not going to update the cpp file because i'm going to undo it in a second if we go back to here and let's just build it let's just see what we get okay so so this is moaning because obviously i haven't updated that that's fine the intellisense has kicked in now it's colored it the way it needs to be colored this is valid as well because we're passing in a pointer to a pointer either one is fine you will just need to bear in mind so in the truck you will need to obviously change this to an asterisk and instead of window dot you will do window dash both methods are valid I'm just going to stick to the one single way of doing it unless I specifically needed the other way which I don't so now if we were to run it we won't get anything because the main doesn't actually have anything in there so if we go here get rid of all of this get rid of this as well and now we're going to do a hash include this is going to be our game.hpp I'm going to create a game object we don't need to put brackets or anything because it's automatically constructed using the default constructor and we do game dot loop and as you can see our project is i mean our main file is down to a mere 10 lines of code so we can get rid of these empty lines right here and in our main we've abstracted it out so let's just run it make sure there's no errors there is one error so let's just fix this uh, I when I was just explaining how to use a pointer instead I forgot to revert this line of code back so run it and we should have the same thing as we did before got a truck we can move around we should be able to go in front and we die when it collides or the window closes as of now so you might be thinking again why are we doing this why can't we just leave it in the main and the reason is the more we abstract it the easier it is to go and modify something so if for example I want to modify something to do with the frog generally speaking it'll be in this frog class I don't have to go through a long main file because again this was a very simple example of frogger even even like the full-fledged frogger which has stuff like logs moving it has 
stuff like water in there you might have other objects that you can collide with as well potentially collectibles it will have stuff like scoring the hood as well all of that if you put that in one file trying to modify one thing it's going to be difficult trying to go through all that whereas this way you know frog related stuff is in frog truck related stuff is in truck the general game related stuff is in game so if i wanted to go in here let's say change this to something else instead of 640 and 480 or if i wanted to change the game title i don't have to go through one file i can just go to the game file so that's it for part two which was just covering creating a game class what we're going to be covering in part three of the object oriented part is inheritance so we're going to abstract out some of the truck and frog functionality even more so it's just more dynamic and easier to create more and more objects without repeating code so if you have any questions feel free to post them on my educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description to that alongside that there will be a link to our github page which contains all the source code from every part in this series and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day